Everybody, what's up? <sighs> Today's gonna be kind of a serious video because, uh, and I usually don't do serious videos a lot, but uh, today's kind of depressing for me because tomorrow's the 4th of July and <laughs> our country's just going right down the toilet. And what are we doing? Are we out there fighting to, to get our republic back? Are we protecting the Constitution? Are we having mass readings of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence? Now, now we're out there shooting fireworks off, people getting drunk, eating hamburgers and hot dogs, celebrating why our country gets flushed right down the tube. It's depressing. You know, more than half of the people out there celebrating have never read the Declaration of Independence, but yet... They claim to just love and celebrate our independence, you know, but only today. Uh, those are the worst kinds of people, in my opinion, because they're weekend patriots. And what that means is they're only, they're only celebrating our country when everybody else celebrates it, you know. Uh, I, I, however, am a real patriot. Uh, I'm a patriot 24-7, you know, 360 days a year. You know, I'm, I'm always a patriot. I love the United States. I love the Republic. Long live the Republic, long live liberty. Uh, the founding fathers are my heroes. The founding fathers of my dad are my heroes. Um, you know, I don't know, it's just, it's sad. You know, that our educational system's failing. We're number 47 on some lists and 53 on others. That's below third world countries. <laughs> Most people, if I showed them this without telling them what it was, wouldn't have a clue what it is. Wouldn't have a clue because they're not taught in schools what it is. That's the United States Constitution, folks. We the people, in big bright letters. Well, not bright, but big letters. You know why it says we the people bigger than any of the rest of this? Because we were the first country in history to declare our independence from the British, which were at the time a huge, powerful empire, the most powerful empire on the earth. But they were tyrannical. And they treated American colonists like dirt, pretty much. So our founding fathers got together and decided, you know, we better declare independence from these guys. And that's what they did. They wrote the Declaration of Independence, which is on a frame in my room. And that's the Constitution of the United States, which was written in 1781. Or, I'm sorry, got my dates wrong. 1783 is when the uh, American Revolution officially ended. We beat the British, and that's when we were officially a sovereign, independent nation. Uh, the, the United States Constitution was written in 1787. That's, that's my bad on the, the date. Uh, anyway, 1787. Up until that time, we had something called the uh, Articles of Confederation, which didn't do too well. So that's why we wrote a more permanent constitution, which does great. So... Um, but, uh, you know, our country's just going down the tubes. I mean, people are losing their homes everywhere. You got homes on the market everywhere around here. I can drive down the road and show you all the homes on the market. They'll never be sold. Uh, people are losing their jobs. Uh, they're, all the companies are moving to China. Um, you know, you got corporate bankers, um, you know, running the Federal Reserve about to just crush our economy. Uh, the U.S. dollar, a lot of people don't know this, the U.S. dollar is dying all over the world. So many countries now have dumped the U.S. dollar and refused to use it because they realize that it is, it is about to die. And it's all been done that way. It's all been designed that way by these corporate banks that are uh, controlling every facet of the United States these days. You know, where are the sons of liberty when you need them? That's what I would like to know. Where are the sons of liberty? You know, uh... We're the radicals, you know. Where where are the radicals at? You know, where are the guys like me at? Where where are where is everybody? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm a rat on a sinking ship, but I'm going down with the ship. I'll tell you that much. I'm going down with the ship. Uh, I don't know. It's just depressing, I guess. <laughs> Sorry to make this video on the on the. Actually, this is the third of July, but. Tomorrow's the 4th, and people have no clue, absolutely no clue. Some people don't even know who we fought the Revolutionary War against. you know that? Oh, man. 
I don't know. But anyway, uh, just try to remember on this tomorrow, the 4th of July, <laughs> uh, you know, what this country stands for, you know. Uh, what the Declaration of Independence, you know, what we're actually celebrating out there stands for. You know, it was it was a document that gave birth to the idea that all men are created equal. That mankind can govern themselves. That they need no kings or emperors to rule over them. They're perfectly capable of governing themselves. You know, it gave birth to the idea that all men are created with inalienable rights. And that's a, lot of people, that's a lot of things that people don't understand today. They think that society gives you your rights. It doesn't. Uh, actually, the Constitution just puts down on paper what we already know. You know, God has created us with these rights. We are endowed with these rights. These human rights are ensnared in our bones. They're in our flesh. They're in our soul. You know, society can't give them to us and they can't take them away. I'll always have freedom of speech, right to bear arms, freedom of the press freedom to peacefully assemble, freedom of religion. These are things I'm born with. They're in my soul. And we'll have them in heaven because heaven is a free place. And God created us all with inalienable rights. Heaven is free, just like America is free. Um, anyway, that's, that's my views. Um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a patriot and I'm proud of it. Uh, you know, I believe in liberty and justice for all. So long live liberty, happy fourth. And uh, try to remember that, you know, like I said, what this country is, is, is based on. Uh, you know, individuality, which is slowly being taken away by the corporations. Uh, our kids are being taught to be <laughs> clones of each other. Uh, you got all these styles and, and cliques, and that's really just part of breaking down their individuality. That's all that is. Uh, so try to be remain an individual out there. Stay free out there, and... Uh, Read the Constitution and the Bill of Rights if you've never read it. Please read it. <laughs> Please read it. And the Declaration of Independence. If you're, not, if you're an American, you should read these things. Uh, especially tomorrow. I mean, it's the 4th of July, for goodness sakes. But uh, long live liberty and everybody be safe out there. Everybody be careful. Peace.